Hi guys, welcome back to Kobe's Kitchen where we share simple, amazing recipes. You don't have to break a bank to create an amazing meal in your home. And homemade food does not have to be boring. Thank you so much for choosing this channel. Thank you, thank you, thank you. If you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing. Hit that subscribe button and hit on the notification bell to ensure anytime that I upload a new video, you will be notified. So today we are making an amazing, amazing recipe which calls for Mahamri. Twende Mombasani, Twende Kosto. So stick around and let's head over to our ingredients. So for the ingredients, I have instant yeast, which I'm going to use two, two teaspoons of instant yeast. So this is the whole sachet that I'll be using. It's already activated, so I don't need to activate it. I'll directly add it to my wheat flour. Then I have this amazing wheat flour, a jar. I'll be using four cups of all-purpose flour and I'll be measuring my cups with this thermos cup. So whatever cup that you, you think is nice. And then I'll have a cinnamon as my spice. So mahamri lazima ikuwe na viungo. Jamani mahamri. And then coconut milk. So I'll have a a whole cup and a half of coconut milk. I don't know if it will fit. Come height a fit one and a half cup. I'll substitute it with some water or milk. But I don't have milk, so I'll substitute it with milk. So let's begin. What I'll do, I'll just measure my four cups of whole cups flour. So we are African, so kama ime, imeanguka kidogo, we will work with it as it is. So these are the four cups of all peppers flour. So we add the dry ingredients first, then we head over to the wet ingredients. So for the four cups of all peppers flour, I will add in my instant yeast. Because it's already activated. I don't need to activate it with some milk. So I'll add the, I'll add the whole packet of yeast. I will also add a teaspoon of cinnamon powder. Mix well, my hands are clean, so mix well, and then add in a half cup of sugar. This is the half cup of sugar that I will be adding. If you're more of a sweet tooth, you can add your sugar. It's not, it's not what, it's not lazima weke that whatever. So the next thing I'll add is I'll add a quarter cup of of vegetable oil but if you have butter you can substitute the vegetable oil with butter if you have margar uh, margarine you can also substitute it with some margarine so i'll be adding a quarter cup of vegetable oil so this is the vegetable oil i'll add in and then I will go ahead and add in a cup of my coconut milk. So I will then knead until I have a soft dough. But in the process, I'll still put a half cup of my coconut milk aside so that if it is not well incorporated then I can add in my 
coconut milk. So knead until you have a very soft dough. As you can see, the 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 all-purpose flour is more than our liquid. So I will add in little by little the remaining coconut milk. Shut up, Elian. So I gradually add in my coconut milk little by little. So don't mind that kid. He just needs some attention. So after kneading, I'll then transfer it on my surface and then continue kneading as I pull it up out. So to ensure that uh, our mandazis will be super 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 soft are ah, not mandazis mahamri so need need it as you pull it if you feel as if it's sticky you can it can add in some all-purpose flour to it or to your surface to ensure that uh, you need visually so it's just for around two to three minutes this with this method of kneading and then we will then let it rest for about two to three hours until it is it rises double in size so for me i always do my wheat work at night so i will let it rest overnight until tomorrow morning when we will be frying our mandazis so we need a little bit, a little bit more as I pull it. So our, our dough is, as you can see, it's soft and a little bit sticky. So I don't need it to be so hard. So that is, I'll not be adding any flour to it. So, so far so good, I'll then form a nice ball to it and put it on in my bowl, not on, in my bowl and then put it on a very, very, very warm place until Kesho. Yeah, so this is it. I will also... I will also put some flour on it and on the bowl that I will be, ah, not flour, oil. Oil on it and on the bowl that I'm using to, to rest for resting. So I will put it in here and then add some oil, hapoju. Then brush it well. So I'll then let it rest overnight. So see you tomorrow morning. Have a good night. Good morning. It's another new day. So our our dough, as you can see, is actually triple in size. And what we will do is we'll just punch it to re to release the excess air, and then transfer it on a very clean surface. Dust our surface with some uh, with some flour. So you roll up your dough and then cut it into approximately equal equal sizes. And uh, in the meantime, ensure that uh, your oil is getting hot.
I'll then cut them into equal parts and then draw them. So I've tried those out my equal parts. Form a bowl to cut my surface and with your rolling pin make a chapati out of this and then cut them into triangles. So that's basically what I'll be doing. So my rolling pin so I'll be using my my bottle for that. So that is it. This is also a hack. If you don't have a rolling pin, now gonna chop your soda. To me, I hear such a good fun. Yeah, well, well. The how to pick your what to chop it. The how to roll your pin. So I'll roll it, uh, not too thick and not too thin at the same time. So she day chupa niya tinacha, inacha bumps. But I will take care of them. So no worries. So after having a nice round, I will then cut it into four equal parts. I'll try cut them into four equal parts. So we'll then cut this into four. So still has my queen shape, but try as hard as you can to get a nice triangular shape. Put them aside as you wait for your oil to defray. So this is the thickness. So as you can see, huku ni mekata ni kathin. Huku kwenye triangle ina malizia ni kathin. So hapo ita haita kuwa na nyama nyama. But on this other part, ita kuwa na kanyama kanyama kanyama. So try make whatever shapes that you wish for. When it's too thick, una itandaza. So I'll do this as I let my whole, my oil to get hot and then we will get to the deep frying part. Your oil is hot when you dip a wooden spoon and it sizzles around the wooden spoon. That's when you know your oil is ready for use. So after that, we will then deep fry our mandazis. Our mahamri is see mandazi ni mahamri. You put closely so that you don't burn yourself. And also, do not overlap them. So just put the needle to share for you to the air. Zinaivanga pretty fast, so you you sondesha them bizuri and then overturn them to check your other part coming neighbor. And that's it. So you only need a, a nice golden brown color, and that's it. Do not overdo your hamries. The Zinaivanga pretty 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 fast. So as you can see ours is already done even on the downside. So we remove them and get to the next batch. So it's just a minute.
and you're done so we'll do this to all our mahamri cuts and then we'll be back for the final outcome so this is it for our mahamris please try out this recipe and subscribe and see you on our next one bye bye